here. We got a little bit more for you to train with, some more conditioning drills. We're gonna be using props today, using bean bags. If you don't have bean bags, I recommend make them. Super simple at home craft project. Grab some fabric, grab some rice, cut some squares, fill them. Done. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the bean bags first, by the way, this is called the bean bag balance. We're gonna start with one on the head, okay? Place it somewhere nice. I recommend having the chin slightly lifted. And we're just gonna work on going into slacker stance from the ground here. The idea is to try to relax, but these are gonna help you maintain structural alignment as well. So we're relaxing, but we're staying stacked. Come up, find some calmness, come down. Try that up several times on both sides. Feeling good. Think about lifting the head up towards the sky. Dropping the shoulders down. If that feels good, you can progress onto walking. Okay. The beanbag on the head helps keep the shoulders over the hips. If I go too far forward with my body, what's going to happen? Beanbag's going to fall, right? So it's a fun little exercise. Play with that, and then we'll go to progression two. Utilizing two bean bags on the shoulders. One on each, arms out. It's gonna be easy, or the tendency is gonna shrug the shoulders up. We're gonna try to relax the shoulders. It's part of the challenge, part of the exercise. Again, working just with the slacker mount. Feeling good. A couple times each side. Try to keep it balanced. If you struggle on one side, Definitely recommend trying that side then. Okay, feel good. Feel balanced, move on to walking. Nice, remember try to relax the shoulders and breathe, always breathing. Boom, okay, walk the line, come down. Work on progression three. Progression three is gonna utilize all three of them, as you may have guessed. One on the head, one on each shoulder. Trying to be relaxed. So, not like this. Relax it, relax it. Arms out, up. Down. Try both sides, I'll save you time by just telling you about it. And then start to walk. Try to be fluid, soft, move with the line, don't resist it. Think about elongating up, standing tall. And if you make it to the end of the line and you still want more of a challenge, try to turn around on the line. So I'm facing this way, now I'm gonna try to turn around Whoa. without losing them. That's challenge four for you. So send me your videos, I wanna see if you can do it. Till next time, peace slacker bats.